area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. The clip will blow. I ain't talking fast. You're listening slow. If you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel. Daylight is outside, outside again. A lot of us remember him from his performance versus Tay Rock last year. Three of the dopest rounds, probably in battle rap ever. Quiet room performance, not too many, nobody was there, but you could hear in the way, way, way background, mm, bam, bam, you know, uh, uh, what I will say is this, he hadn't battled in a while since then, a lot of people were asking, how can we put light on this pedestal when he's not battling, he's not outside, we had seen Loaded Lux come outside, we had seen a lot of the other MCs come outside, Murder Moot came outside more than once, but Daylight, just regardless of whether it was the situation, whether it was the music, or whether it was just the right battle, had not been outside since, and now he has King Los. I did speak about it a little bit yesterday in the whip, but I wanted to come back and talk to y'all. The real, like, y'all know what we do over here. So, I talked to Daylight this morning. I text Daylight, I said, King Los though? Like, because you know, if you don't know, a couple years ago, Daylight vs. King Los was supposed to happen on Rare Breed Entertainment. The situation went awry and the battle didn't happen. Both had their reasonings why Daylight even dropped some bars that he had, but the battle just didn't happen. So now, we fast forward about two, three years later, and the battle just pops out of nowhere. I told y'all, ARP is smooth. Like, he just finds ways to drop announcements. It's crazy how all these leagues be playing flag football with their announcements. You've seen an announcement from Queen of the Ring, now you've seen an announcement from RBE, I'm sure URL will have an announcement. Everybody's going announcement for announcement for announcement. Bang, you got an announcement, bang, we got an announcement, bang, they got an announcement. But what it does do is it makes it better for the Battle Rap fans because we get to have a lot of Battle Rap events and we get to see stuff everywhere. So anyway, let's get into what uh, me and Daylight spoke about. So I texted him and I said, uh, King Los though? He said, I'm outside, boy, I'm outside, and I'm locked in for blank other battle. I said, I can't, I can't lie, I'm surprised. He said, 2021, the game's about to be over. I, he said, uh, he got big events coming up and things like that. I'm not gonna say what he told me he has going on. And then we spoke about, uh, he called me right after, and I wanted to get the sense in it because him battling King Los. King Los is a dope MC uh, on, on tracks. You should have heard the Lemon Pepper Freestyle. He was going at Surf. He's got a lot of other joints like King Los Pen is like that. King Los Pen, if you don't know if you ain't watch him versus Head Ice, his pen is like that. He gets really busy in the, in the battle rap game and in the rap game. So I wanted to find out what was his thought process in actually taking the King Los battle after all of this time. You know, number one is the bag. Number two is him being outside and battling more frequently. And the most important thing that nobody thought about was it's a YouTube drop. Daylight wants a battle that's going to drop on YouTube badly because he said, and I quote, his battle lives in a thrift shop with the Tay Rock battle because it's never going to make it to the light of day. No pun intended. Being on an app, like a lot of the people who was going to see it, are probably never going to get to see it because there's a huge community of battle rap fans who either, you know, just ain't buying no app. Like, they into it, but they not into it, into it. Not into it to where they watching blogs and into it to where they're going to be purchasing apps and downloading apps. And some people just don't have... Like, when you think of battle rap, from the core, from when it began, when somebody told you a battle was fire, what you'll say? Send me the YouTube link. Yo, shoot me the link. You'll send the YouTube link. A lot of people are not caught up with this app era and buying apps and catching things on caffeine. Like some people just don't have a whole Saturday to sit down and watch a pay-per-view stream. People got work, people got kids. Like it just don't work like that for a lot of a lot of folks that catch it on the rerun. So Daylight wanted a guaranteed YouTube drop. The thing about Rare Breed Entertainment, he knows 
that his battle is going to drop on YouTube sooner than later. They're putting that out. They drop Cassidy's joints. They drop Ill Wilbur's. They were all of the battles that happen on Rare Breed Entertainment. There's no app over there, so they're going on YouTube. YouTube is the app where it will go. Um, another thing he said is that you know that Piff promoted him versus uh, King Los. King Los has a music wide fan base, you know what I'm saying? It's not a big, huge artist, but he does have a broader perspective and more people, more eyes, more ears will be tuned into the battle than probably if he would have battled just said regular MC because it's like, you know, encapsulated in the battle rap world. So he's moving strategically like, yo, I got to get this bag. It doesn't ruin my position with no other league. We had a point in time now, and this is things that we spoke about. Um, we at a point now where all of us are grown men, it's all business, you know what I'm saying? If I'm a battle here, I'm going to let them know. If I'm a battle there, I'm going to let them know. It's no surprises, so when these battles come out, you're not going to see someone surprised that I took a battle on said league because I'm not in the contract with any league. Basically, it's the gist of what I got, you know what I'm saying? And the, the, the money is good. The money is good, and I'm, and I'm happy for him, but uh, he let me know that he's done. With King Los already, you know what I'm saying? They were supposed to battle a couple years ago. He told me he's done, done. New material, old. Ma I don't, I don't know. But what he's telling me is he, when you see him versus King Los, he will be ready. He said he doesn't want it in no small room. It's going to be on a big stage. And he said the the thing that he's been saying all these years when he's been in front of big crowds is let me rap, let me rap. He said that's what it's going to be. He said you're going to get him upstairs in that level. And I will say this. A lot of us wanted to see Daylight back in his bag again. Like, that rock performance, amazing. But we can't live off of that. Like, that's not enough. We need another meal. Um, I told him this, though. he Because he, he said, he said that, you know, he's got another battle coming. And I told him that if you don't do crazy in this one, that could take away from that one. It's a stepping stone for things to come and what we're going to see in 2021 with Daylight. Uh, he's got the music thing going. But him being back in his battle rap bag is where most of us remember him from. And uh, that's pretty much what we're going to get. As far as King Los goes, King Los did have a battle with Head Ice. He did win that battle. He did definitely had some dope moments. Uh, he's able to put together lyrics. Like rapping wise, I don't think that's going to be of any issue to him because he can rap and he can rap very well. Putting together bars, punches, metaphors, similes. Like he, he has no issue with that. He's got an elite pen. But what I do think may be an issue i don't know we'll have to see how it goes is him in front of a large large crowd like this crowd will probably be over a thousand people when you're going into those bags and you're rapping lyrics and metaphors and medical physical the crowd could sometimes kind of get a little lost so entertainment is a very important part of these battles that have huge crowds um i must say again i said it last night Salute to Rare Breed Entertainment for continuing to bring us dope entertainment, dope battles, uh, regardless of the situation. We all see and we all hear about some of the things that go on, whether it be with leagues or whether it be with artists. But I just I respect the fact that Rare Breed Entertainment keeps churning out dope events and dope battles because a lot of leagues in the past, if they were getting pressured or getting hit with, you know, back outs and you can't do this and you can't do that. And if you go over there, you stay over there, all this bullshit that happens with this battle rap. A lot of leagues would have folded. <laughs> Breed Entertainment, they keep thriving. I don't, they, they keep putting together cards. They keep dropping things the way that they drop them. They keep their cards pretty tight as far as like releases. Like I don't really be knowing the battles before they happen. I hear things, but I did not know about the Daylight versus King Los. And I'm cool with it. Like I don't need to know because when I, when I do hear about it, I get excited. I'm like, oh, snap, this is fire. You know what I'm saying? When I heard about the Calico versus Hitman, I liked it, but I did see some of the adverse reaction where people was like, oh, what is this for? Why is this happening? Dog, they don't like each other. They had mad arguments. They had a one-round battle before. This makes sense. Don't y'all want grudge matches? How do we not want grudge matches? What do y'all want? Y'all want WWE shit where people just make up fake beefs and, and fake issues that they have with each other? No, you want the grudge matches. Like Daylight and King Los was supposed to battle before. The battle didn't happen. It's all, it, it all makes sense. It all makes sense for them to be spinning the block and getting it done now. Um, we'll see what happens with it, but uh, Daylight definitely said 
his reasons for the battle, you know, and I'm sure he'll speak more. He said his exhibition bag, he tweeted that earlier, uh, getting to that paper, uh, getting back out there, seen by people again, and most importantly, a YouTube drop. Like, that was his biggest thing, was for his battle to be seen. He didn't want to live inside of an app vault anymore. But other than that, you already know what it's doing, what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to every single one of y'all. Okay.